well, it's just slight change of plans. I didn't get to ride the roadster today, and I'm not going to be able to ride the Street Glide Special, but I am on the Street Glide. Uh, I was all ready to ride the Street Glide Special, and the people who signed me up put me under the wrong bike, so no harm, no foul. I still get to ride. Oh, there we go. Got it. Figured it out? Yeah. All right, you're good to go? Yep. All right, so there's an actual ignition switch here on this street glide. And, uh, it is not key fob. I'm sure it's key fob. Well, maybe not because yeah, the you there's no key fob. This is not an automatic uh, setup here on this bike. So I wasn't prepared to ride this bike. I know it's probably just a little bit different than the actual street glide special but we will make it work and we will let you know all about the regular street glide none of the special variety there's nothing special about this bike <laughs> the only thing special about this bike is that that one guy is riding it right now and again like all the other touring bikes this bike uh, lets out a little bit late on the clutch but I'm going to get to the front because that's where I want to be. We're going to follow the Marine because he knows what he's doing. Just going to assume that. I think that's a good assumption. Marines pretty much know what they're doing all the time, right? Yeah, we're going to say yes. All right, so the regular street glide was not prepared to uh, break this bike down but we've got a I, I think the regular street glide is probably one of the uh, close to the front of the the touring variety uh, maybe a couple steps up from the Road King which I've ridden also uh, the Road King sends the uh, front fairing here <laughs> So hopefully with this super view here this on this test ride uh, my previous test rides were all done with a, just a regular wide view but with the super view hopefully we will capture more and this uh, front fairing and uh, this little window that comes up slightly will not block your view so much that was nice of that bike be careful here this two up rider is riding very uh very cautiously and i understand he's got his passenger so we will cut him some slack but uh right away this bike this touring bike the street glide I, is suited for a short person i can tell you that right now because with my feet up on the floorboards my knees are hugging this tank which means if you are a uh, person who is bigger than I, and I'll just tell you my statistics, <laughs> that one guy's statistics, I am about five foot six, I weigh about 180 pounds, my inseam on my pant leg is about 30 inches. So I can f almost flat foot this bike at a stop. I mean, I'm, my feet are, or my, my thighs are pinching the seat when I flat foot it, but n complete control of this bike. This bike is very well balanced. Uh, I don't feel like I have to, you know, from side to side here, really uh, have a hold of this bike because, uh, again, a lot of these touring bikes too, I've ridden a couple of them now. This is my third one. Uh, they're just made to ride and to cruise and for you to, to just hang out while you ride. So. Uh, again, I wasn't ready to ride this bike because uh, even though I was ready to ride the Street Glide, Sp Street Glide Special, which is this bike here next to me. Oh, you guys, so jealous. The blacked out look, that's what I was going for was the blacked out look. And that's what you're going to pay for on the Street Glide Special is all the blacked out componentry. Um, the stretch saddlebags, I think we've just got standard saddlebags here on the regular Street Glide as opposed to the, the stretch ones. You've got a the upgraded audio system as well on the on the special. 
So now that we're going to use that at all right now, how do I even turn this up? Can I turn the volume up on this? Can we turn the volume up here? I'm not familiar with these controls and I am uh, opening myself up to ridicule, but that's okay. I like the sound of the exhaust on this bike. Oh, just got myself into neutral. Because there is a heel shifter on this as well. Now, because I, I'm not a touring bike rider, I am not really familiar with the heel shifter. The nice thing though about these bikes is that you don't have to use the heel, the heel on the shifter. If you don't want to, you can just use it like a, you can just shift gears like a normal uh, standard cruiser would if you were using the foot pegs. But again, nice nice sound of this bike. Very comfortable to ride. The seat is really comfortable. And uh, again, because of this front fairing, I can feel the wind blowing over my, uh, my helmet, shaking my head a little bit like I did when I rode the CVO Limited, but not to the degree of that because the other one had a high windshield and the wind was blowing right over the top of my head and my head was bobbling around like a bobblehead. But this bike, not so much, but we'll see here when we get up into the, the faster speeds. So well, let's, go, let's go back to the, uh, the riding position here. For a guy who's five foot six, again, my, my end seems about uh, 30 inches. This bike is suited for a guy my size. Now, if you're a guy that's six feet tall or taller, you're gonna feel a little bit cramped on this bike. Uh, your knees are gonna come up higher on the tank here. And uh, it's just probably, you're probably gonna be, probably gonna feel a little claustrophobic. Uh, so again, if you're five foot eight, maybe all the way up to like five, nine, five, 10, you're gonna, you're gonna feel pretty comfortable on this bike, but uh, be wary if you are six foot or above. Uh, I was talking to the, to the guy, gentleman up front, who is a Marine. I like to emphasize that because I appreciate our servicemen and women, but he's six feet tall. And even on the CVO uh, Limited there, he said he feels like it's just too too cramped. So again, I don't want to emphasize that too much, but this bike is fits me perfectly. Now, it's super comfortable. I could ride like this all day. But again, the wind now that I'm going up into a little bit higher, uh, higher speeds is blowing up over my helmet. And I, I'm just being a guy who usually rides with no fairing. Uh, bothers me a little bit. When I rode the Sport Glide earlier, it just has the, the small fairing up front and that blew the wind kind of like just up over my head and it wasn't so bad, but this, this one here is shaking my brain, rattling my brain up in my noggin. So hopefully since I'm up here towards the front, we're gonna go a little faster and that's what I wanna do. So I wanna test out the power on this bike. But again, very comfortable ride something to be expected if you're going to ride any of these touring bikes by harley davidson um, in the year 2018. Uh, i'm going to try and run over all the potholes because all these holes here feel like nothing and uh, just to let you know if you're going to ride this thing long distances you're going to love it and let's see yeah we've got a nice big seat here for the passenger as well so uh, Keep that in mind. Now again, this clutch lets out a little bit late. Um, it's a bit um, bigger, I wouldn't say concern, but it, it, you, you'll run across the late, the late release on the clutch when you're on the start. But once you get riding, you don't notice it so much. Oh man, yeah, see when I get up to these high speeds, I just want to duck my head out because my head's really rattling here. This is kind of intense. This is where you, I'd rather have something up higher or down lower because the wind's being deflated right into my face. But a ton of power on this bike. I didn't, I'm pretty sure this is just the standard 107 uh, Milwaukee 8 engine. But just a power to boot and it has no problem getting up into those higher speeds. I'm not sure what, what uh, I got into fifth gear there. Not, not, I'm thinking that we're not going to need sixth gear on this ride, but we'll see here once we get up going faster again. 
can't see out of this rear view mirror. I can't see out of either of these rear view mirrors. Let's move that in a little bit. There we go. It definitely left that other group uh, in the in the dust. So I hit a pretty pretty big pothole just there, and uh, you know the bike bounced, but very comfortable. I mean, this bike just received that bump like nothing. No dragage there, but we did we slowed down considerably for that turn. I like to take this turn a little bit faster, so maybe we'll give ourselves a little room with it in front of this group. Let's see if I can't take this turn a little bit tighter. Test the boundaries of this lean angle. Hopefully I don't get ridiculed because a lot of people will be like, it's a Harley. You don't have to worry about lean angle. Yeah, no worries at all there. On that. Here comes another turn. Oh, we got a little T, T intersection here. I digging the exhaust on this bike I'm digging the power it's it's definitely it's not as sporty as the Road King but it uh, definitely gets on it yeah no problem on the lean there oh, slowing down a little bit here here we go Again, this is probably something you just got to get used to if you ride a touring bike or maybe if you're taller see that that's not as bad so we're just gonna ride up tall like this pretend like I'm a tall like I'm a tall person but again I'm gonna go back to to home on this bike it's just the right size for a guy my size. And easy to maneuver. I know I'm not I'm sure this bike is isn't a big beast like the uh you know like the the limited or the ultra that has the you know the full 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 baggage in the rear. Uh but just enough uh, weight to this bike to still feel uh, like you're in full control. This is definitely uh, the next step up from that Sport Glide and that Road King into the touring bike genre. And a lot of fun to ride. This is one of those bikes that goes that will uh, will give you that pleasure of riding a uh, a touring bike, but yet it'll still be sporty enough to uh, to satisfy your 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 need to be sporty. Whereas when I rode the CVO Limited. You know, you felt like you were riding a touring bike and it was super comfortable and I felt like I could ride it forever. But you just didn't have that sporty feel. This bike is a good blend of both of those. So if you're looking for that bike, that's definitely a step up from like the soft tail Sport Glide. Uh, and you want to get into the touring genre. Yeah, check out the Street Glide. Uh, I haven't actually ridden the Road Glide, so uh, maybe next time. But this bike, this bike is killing it. This is one of those things because of the way that this bike fits me. I can see uh, if I ever get into the, to the to touring on my motorcycle adventures, this would uh, be number one on my list. 
Except that I would go for the special. So I could have that blacked out. Look. We're gonna take this. Up and down. We'll just enjoy the end of this ride as the sun lowers in the sky. And I'm purposely going over these uh, bumps in the road here just to test out how it feels on this bike to hit them. And again, not not so much absorbed like you do on the uh, on the, like I did on the CBO Limited, but still, I mean, you're not you're not getting tossed about when you're hitting these bumps, and it's just absorbing them, it's taking them like a prized fighter and just rolling with the punches. Yeah, this bike just just the right weight and such such great balance on this bike. I don't feel uh, it just feels like it's gonna go where I want it to go and when I just wanted to cruise on the round the road no problems there I mean I'm not one to let go of both handlebars at the same time but I mean it's just super confident so we are nearing the end of this test ride I'm gonna try and do a little wrap up here but When I first got on this bike, mostly because I was frustrated because I wanted to ride the special, uh, I wasn't so sure. But after this uh, this test ride, I'm converted. I really like this bike. And if I was to get into the touring sector of motorcycle riding, I think that uh, I would definitely consider this bike. Now, the, the big setback for me is... Uh, is the wind is the, and I would have to find out from guys who tour regularly how they how they deal with that because to me it's really distracting and I can I can only imagine after you know 10 15 minutes that's just gonna give me a headache so we'll, we'll have to we'll have to look into that and if if you have any anything to say about the the front fairing here blowing the wind right over your head leave it in the comments because I've got my vent open here on top uh, to let the air through and maybe if I was wearing a half helmet or a three quarter, they'd make a make a bit of, bit of a difference. So we're just gonna roll with that. But let's. Uh, I like the contrast here with the the instrumentation here on the on the front fairing, as opposed to the all black, because it does make it a lot easier to read, at least for me. We didn't test out this radio, but again, the the radio on the. On the special is going to be the upgraded one, um, but I'm I'm guessing you get some pretty decent sound out of this. But again, that's a little bit out of my league because again, I'm not a touring bike rider. If I'm going to listen to tunes, I'm going to stick an earbud in one of my ears. But all in all, uh, can definitely suggest the Street Glide, the 2018 Harley Davidson Street Glide, has my stamp of approval. Give it a test ride if you're new to the, the touring segment. Uh, give it a whirl. Tell me what you think. Uh, and if you are a rig guy who's uh, regular on the touring circuit, also let me know what you think. But guys, this has been fun. If you have a demo truck in your area, go check it out. And if you don't, go a little ways, find one that's close by and, and go for a ride. These rides are awesome because you get to go on such a longer ride than you would uh, if you were just taking out a bike um, for a test ride. So guys, this is that one guy with the Harley Davidson demo truck here in Vacaville, California. Letting you know that if you are not riding, you need to get riding. And I'm out. <laughs>